Hello everyone! This is the most intelligent and magnificent bird, Buckbeak, speaking to you today. And in today's video, I will be going over and discussing Trait Frenzy. And yes, I know the Trait Frenzy event has already started, but this is the best time I could get to it, and I wanted to talk about this with all of you. And before we get started, I hope that everyone is doing good and staying safe out there. I'm doing okay and staying safe myself for the most part. And also, I have a Discord and Twitter. If you guys would like to join either one of them or both of them, you may. And uh, let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Trait Frenzy. Our latest event is all about traits, both in the challenges and the rewards. A new series of roadmaps will challenge you against fighters with trait advantage and in return, you'll be able to earn trait Pacific Mythic Silver Fighters. Are you ready for the trait frenzy? The event obviously started yesterday. And the event will go on until April April the 29th, which is next, next Thursday. And the gray market for that, to trade in, you know, whatever stuff you need to get for the mythics and stuff, will end on uh, the 30th of April, which is next Friday. Your first step will be to hand in to to get your hands on some sewing kits. If you're a member of our survivors club, you'll get a nice head start as you'll be able to claim four free sewing kits in the shop straight from the get go. A solo mission event will be available through the trait frenzy event which will task you with defeating enemy fighters in any of our game modes. Progressing through the milestones will earn you both sewing kits and trainers. You will be able to collect a total of 20 sewing kits from the solo mission event purely through play, but more will be made available via the shop if you feel like you might need more. The sewing kits will allow you to unlock one of the four available Trait Frenzy roadmaps. Each of each will be themed around a Pacific trait and you will you will only be able to use fighters with trait disadvantage. You have the alert roadmap. You will first you will face alert fighters and will be able to only use strong fighters and you will get red mittens as the rewards. You have the strong roadmap. You will face str strong fighters and you will only be able to use fast fighters and you get green mittens as the reward. You have the fast roadmap. You will face fast fighters and you will only be able to use tough fighters. You will get yellow mittens as the rewards. And you have the tough roadmap. You will face tough fighters and you will only be able to use alert fighters and you get blue mittens as the rewards. Also, make sure to have easy access to them. Each roadmap will reset every three hours allowing for more flexibility and will reward you with the trait themed mittens and scarves. Once you're done, grab your mittens and scarves and head over to the gray market for some very special rewards. By combining enough trait themed mittens, red, green, yellow, or blue, you will be able to cl you will be able to claim trait Pacific Silver Mythic Fighters. 20 mittens will get you a random silver mythic of a Pacific trait, but 30 mittens will give you a silver mythic choice of that Pacific trait. Scarves will be traded in for other useful rewards such as skill fighters, military tribute packs, armory tokens, energy refills, and gear markers. So in review, defeat enemy fighters to earn sewing kits, decide what mythic 
fighters, myth, silver mythic fighters you're after and use the sewing kit to unlock the roadmap of his trait. Turn in your mittens and scarves for the guaranteed silver mythics and other useful rewards. Don't forget to claim your four free sewing kits if you're a member of the Survivors Club. Which I am not, so that's not going to happen for me. Uh, and here we go. Here is the solo mission event. It's pretty straightforward. You just have to defeat a total of... Let's see, you have to defeat a total of 8,000 fighters, which should be really doable, to be honest. So, the only people I could see having trouble with this is maybe new, new players who are just starting right at this moment. But everybody else, sh this should be pretty doable, to be honest. So, it's just time consuming. I could see somebody saying that it is time consuming to beat 8,000 fighters. That does sound like really time consuming, but that's really the only thing about that. Trait Frenzy Roadmaps. All of the Trait Frenzy Roadmaps will reset every three hours. To unlock a roadmap, you will need to use one sewing kit. Alert Roadmap, obviously you can only use strong mythic fighters. And that's how that's how that goes. So you will get 50 scarves per stage. Then strong roadmap, you can only use the fast fighters for this one. It's pretty much the same thing. You have the fast roadmap, you will only be able to use the tough fighters. And for the tough roadmap, you can only use alert fighters. And here are the gray market rewards here. You get, obviously, you get the choice, choice silver mythics. And then you got the random ones, which are a little bit cheaper, just 10 mittens cheaper than your choice. Then with the scarves, here we go, you can get a Lilith, Ulysses, a two-hour military tribute pack, 2,500 armory tokens, World Energy Refill, and 2,500 gear markers. Um, okay. I think this event... <clears throat> I think this event is going to be... I think it's going to be okay. Nothing too crazy. Or nothing too wild. I think it's going to be... It's pretty simple. It sounds like... Now, the trait that I need the most, I would have to say right at the moment myself, is I, would, I probably need blue more than anything. Like, then maybe second place yellow, but I definitely need blue for sure. So I can get to uh, tearing up that Abraham. That, that's why I need blue more than anything. And I could use some help tearing up Yumiko as well. But definitely blue is my top priority, and then maybe yellow right behind for Gator, which I have not used Gator yet, and people seem to like him a lot, so I have no idea how good Gator actually is. It seems like he might be pretty decent, but uh, yep, I definitely need blue absolutely more than anything right now, and uh, I think that's pretty much going to do it. For this video, if you guys want to jump down there to the comments and tell me what you think about this Trait Frenzy event, or just to simply say hi, you may. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up, and if you like my content, subscribe to see more. It would be much appreciated, and to those who are subscribed to me already, it is very much appreciated. You guys are very awesome, and I thank you again. I want each and every one of you to have a magnificent day and magnificent week as well. And don't forget to hit the bell and switch on all notifications so you know the second I upload to YouTube. I am Buckbeak and I'm going to go fly away back to my nest. Until next time, bye guys.